You be doing that as an actor? Oh, the owl now, brown cow type. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yours? Unique New York is a big one. Unique New York. New Unique York. New York. New York. To get like the back of the throat. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. <laughs> Unique New York. New, unique. Why can't I say that? <laughs> unique New York. Yeah. Why unique New York. How many times do you have to say it? You just, and then you get faster and faster and faster. Do it. Mm. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique. Oh my New God. <laughs> so, unique New York. Unique New York. He gonna do that the whole car yeah. ride home. Oh, that's crazy. Welcome to season two of Iman Amongst Men. The show that takes an honest look at what it is to be a man in today's world. We don't shy away from topics most people are too afraid to talk about. We gonna take it all the way there. It's season two, y'all. Let's get it. This podcast is brought to you by Cash App. And that is right. Cash App has the tools to make saving easier. Start building towards your saving goals one dollar at a time. Iman, what are some of the things that you're saving for? Well, I'm just saving for a rainy day, like I like to say. Um... Yeah, I'm always saving, always trying to get my snowball bigger. Yeah, so what are some of the things you saving up for? Uh, to be honest, Christmas. Shopping for a four-year-old girl and a teenage boy. The boy's easy, the girl is not. She wants everything from everywhere. Tree houses, doll houses, mm -hmm. cars, big wheel, whatever. All of that gets expensive and yeah, I'm just, I'm dreading the bill. Oh yeah, yeah it sucks being Santa. Yeah. Reaching your goals, whatever they may be. It's faster with Cash App's roundups and offers. You're paying yourself, even while you're paying someone else. And while your money's building in Cash App, you could literally be doing anything other than thinking about your money. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like uh, financial self-care. Mm -hmm. That's money and that's Cash App. So download Cash App today from the App Store or the Google Play Store to start saving today. Save your money. Like right now. Welcome to Iman Amongst Men, presented to you by Cash App. I'm Iman Shumper, here with my big brother, as always. Ari, go and give a what's up to the people. What's going on, people? Today, we're joined by another special guest. Special we're joined guest. by accomplished actor Come and on. star of the hit show All-American on, on Netflix. Give it up for Daniel Ezra. Bring it up. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Ow! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the Cash App show. <laughs> right, right, right. Checking the cash. Uh, the theme of today's show is flipping the script. Mm. As a British actor, how do you approach playing a football player <clears throat> from LA? The hardest part was was the football. You know, I I grew up. Uh, we we don't have it in the UK. You know, it, it doesn't exist. So um, I had to like learn it from the ground up. You know, when they, yeah, when they brought me out, it was they took me straight to a park over in Burbank, and they were like, "All right, let's see what you got." And I was like. I don't have anything. <laughs> like, it's not. It's not like. It's not like. Because you know, I played. I played a little bit of basketball in high school, so yeah. enough to know. I know how the game works. Yeah. I wasn't amazing, but I knew how the game works. I knew the basic. I didn't know anything. How to hold the ball, cut anything. And That's so, wild. And so for them, they were like. And so we Wait had to go minute. from like the ground up, and then that whole first season, yeah. while we're filming, I'm still learning. I'm still. So now you want to play seven on seven. I don't know about that. Oh, you don't I like could, it? I could, I could like try. It? Like, it, like I could. I I love the game now. I enjoy. That's what I'm saying. Like, do you like I don't playing? have enough confidence in my game to mm. be able to just to jump play. into somebody's seven. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get in the room. Yeah, I could try. Like we did. Like when we, you know, because the the stunt guys are amazing. They're all like right. ex college, ex league, and stuff. Mm. And so we would go and mess around on the weekends and play like little games with, with each other, like one-on-ones Dope. and seven-on-sevens. That was a good way to practice. Dope. But just to roll up to somebody somewhere seven-on-seven seven, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I don't know if I trust someone. Cause I know because it's me, everyone will pull out their phones. It'd be all over the internet and mm. I ain't trying to embarrass myself. Uh, were, there, <laughs> were there points where you just was like, man, like I can't, like were there any specific parts in learning uh, the game of football to where you just couldn't grasp? Um, yeah, what's the hardest part? Probably, you know, probably the uh, the rules, like um, what everything, because it moves so fast mm. when it's going. Yeah. And so b being able to kind of, you have to have an awareness, like my character is a wide receiver, but you have to have an awareness of how much things can change on the fly. Yeah. Like a whole play will change based on where the defender is. Yeah. So, that, so if he's coming up <laughs> and he's pressing and then he decides to fall back, we all have to know the whole place change. I'm yeah. like, what the? F but they just know that. <laughs> and I was trying, I was asking them like, how the, f 
like how do you guys know to change plate? Goes, oh we've yeah and we everyone just knows and it's that it was crazy to me yeah mm, i've crazy. always i've always explained to um to my friends like i remember coming back from the camps when i played basketball mm. coming back from my all ironically coming back from yeah, all yeah. american camp so i come back from all american camp and they was asking me they like well when did you get that good and i'm like i don't i don't think i got that good i just I just like you just learn how to read it. Like you start realizing you you made up all this stuff in your head that was happening and you was trying to do moves that wasn't there and you being a kid and it was like my transition was like y'all don't even know what y'all are watching anymore. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. y'all are trying to go out here and just think I'm taking a ball and putting it in the hoop. Yeah. And I'm worried about other stuff now. Like I came back from camp and I'm like, I'm trying to get this big away from the rim. So now I know my teammate got an easy See, layup. Yeah, that's a, that's advanced. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, and exactly. it becomes that. And it's I'm the like, game within the game. You see what I'm saying? Like, once I started understanding that, that's when I created my separation. So I'm like, hearing you walk into something and be like, I don't know nothing. Nah, because that's the guy. I think that's the that's to me what separates the people at the elite level yeah. of all these things, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> NBA, NFL, even acting to a degree, they all make it seem so fluid and easy but you're not realizing there's a whole a science. There's something there's yes. a whole science that's happening and prep that we as an audience aren't even seeing we're not even participating it's, in it it's all about the unique new york <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the right, part right. y'all not seeing that yeah. unique new york and it's like and now, you know and everyone kind of falls into that i fell into that track with acting you know because i grew up watching you watch somebody like denzel yeah. he makes it look like he's not doing nothing like it's so easy and it's just effortless mm -hmm. and then you realize oh this dude's been training for years and he's been practicing and working and all that which is why unique new york type oh, bro. <laughs> he's been doing yeah. that that's a daily thing but they're so talented they make it look like oh anybody can do this bro it's still <laughs> it's still like really messing me up that i'm sitting here talking to this man and the man sounds super regular on the show <laughs> 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 he, he just like, yeah, man, you know. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what? Yeah, the accent. Yo, it's yeah. tripping me out because it's just, I get it though. It's like, is that, when you do that, right, are you going home and practicing LA all day? So, I, so man, especially for the first, to this day really, but especially for the first like two, three seasons, I didn't, I only spoke LA. So, so once I, uh, I auditioned in London, and then they brought me out to LA for, my, for the first time to test, to uh, to like do like mm -hmm. a big like chemistry and screen test and stuff. Once I passed border control, I went into the LA, I went into an American accent and I stayed mm -hmm. in it and I talked to everybody. I didn't want to do it with border control cause scared it wasn't going to let me in. Cause <laughs> right. Because my, my passport's British. So if I'm talking American with a Brit, they was right. like, I didn't want to cause no problem. So once I passed that and I'm in LA, <laughs> and I'm in LA, no, I'm in there. it was, it was just LA. It was just, just LA. And that's, and I told my family, I said, I'm not going to call you while I'm here. Cause mm -hmm. I'm, I don't want to hear no British voices. I'll only listen to LA hip hop. I only listened to um, like American movie. I did like, I cut myself off from anything UK. Wow. So I could stay in it and practice because for me, you have to, and then I would deliberately go to Crenshaw and deliberately go to mm. these places and talk to people and listen to people. Mm. And I would test it out and see if like, while I'm talking, are you going to look at me funny and ask where I'm from? Then I'm, I, I got more work to do. But if you're just talking to me normal, oh, you think I'm, cause that's mm. to me, that's how you know you master the accent. You got to be able to convince a local that you're from where they're you from. You ever get into some bull? I was, was just, nah, I, mean, I don't stay yeah. <laughs> I was, yeah. I was the most polite civilian <laughs> you've ever seen. I'm saying like when somebody do that, like usually, like say some like when you catch somebody somewhere and it's like, yeah. Once they know, like, oh, you shouldn't be over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, ah, oh, like, I don't give a yeah. how polite you are. No, for you real. Yeah, no, I didn't go. I didn't go too deep in that. Oh, I would, copy. I'd be, I'd be sliding through. I go to like you know, like the food spots and go. Oh, like, copy, copy. You know, oh, quick okay. interaction. I wasn't oh, going okay. to like the hood and just not nah, yeah, nah, yeah, by yeah. myself. <laughs> I know though. I, yeah, like, hey, I know plenty of method actors that like to. I mean, y'all yeah, yeah, might be like, nah, I need to take this to the because so he is he is a disadvantaged kid. Yeah, he's in the hood and so. So we did, but it was always that those trips were planned out, and I would have somebody from the neighborhood. Oh, to of course, take me got places. you, got you, got you. Because there's so many politics down there. You got <laughs> real talk. You got to be careful. LA is and LA so, is definitely politics. Yeah, and so the, I don't know if you're into politics. Yeah, and so the people what was good about the show. We had 
people from those areas working with us on the show. Awesome. And so on the weekends, me, I remember one time me, uh, one of our directors and this guy called Keenan, who's a local artist mm -hmm. from Crenshaw, did a lot of Nipsey's tattoos and stuff. He took me everywhere. Copy. And so with him, I'm cool. He knows exactly where to go. People Copy. know him down there, so we're cool. And we're you just was testing it up. Yeah. Yeah, and what yeah. they say, they was yeah. when did they give you the nod? Like, nah, you got it, champ. Well, that was after they had seen the show. So by that point, they were like, oh, we know oh, you. Like, yeah, we like you doing. And then, um, but usually I would just be in and around LA hollering at girls and talking to girls mm -hmm. yeah. and trying to testing like, it out. And testing it out. Yeah. Because if she'll go for it, then it's like, yeah, yeah. She, that's yeah. Wrong. But usually the British accent works better. <laughs> I was just gonna say like he that's his uh he can turn it off, he the, can turn it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's like, the hey, ring. baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's the turn wild it card. Like, like, oh, oh, no 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 yeah. I, I was running Yeah, was exactly. Yeah, yeah. Running script script <laughs> of running script. Practice. Practice practice practicing. <laughs> so what inspired you uh most in that approach to develop that character? Um Biggest inspiration with well, the, the real Spencer, because he's basically yeah. a real guy. Um, Spencer Pacinger, like he's a, just he's a dope dude. He's just like the way he transitioned out of the NFL into a, like a father, a husband, like business owner. He's getting into the industry, he's writing, he's directing. That's so awesome. we had a lot of conversations, and he, you know, he was kind of my first point because it based on his story. Exactly. And then it was just about like uh, immersing myself in this world, and so I was so fortunate because uh, Victory Lap had just come out. Mm. And so uh, I was a big enough fan of Nipsey to know that I was gonna use, like use him as like a blueprint or as a way into kind of understanding Crenshaw because he's all there in his music. Real talk. Um, so I was just uh, pouring over it, like every mixtape, the album and everything. But because the album was out and it was such a big release, he was doing tons of interviews. Mm -hmm. So I had just this wealth of knowledge that I could just soak up. He was on That's the Breakfast so Club talking for like an hour and then he went to Sway. And, and when he talked, he talked. Talk. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real talk. And he's so real. And Jewel. so I just soaked all that up. So That's between fine. him and then the real Spencer, I had a ton of knowledge That's about so about Crenshaw, about everything that That's, I could just you know, soak up. That's crazy. Yeah. So the timing of that worked out really well. Yeah. And so he was supposed to be in the finale, unfortunately, but he, um, uh, it'd be, it'd be, the schedules couldn't align. We had one yeah. day to shoot and he, he was performing or he's out of town. And then we were gonna try and double it back for the second season, but- Well, he was gonna come for that. He was gonna come and uh, be a part of our season finale. But I'm saying, what was that? The one where the, uh, everybody came outside for, uh, what was it? Yeah, like it what was, was this role? It was, so like a, was, it was like a rally there. Yeah, there. so we had a championship game. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. of, cause of and we school. was doing like a pet rally and stuff, and he was gonna perform and give like a speech for the fundraiser. Exactly, got it. And um, and and got it. and Nip, Nip would have got it done. Yeah, for, bro. Boy, he definitely <laughs> yeah, got. They right, had to yeah, change the was, script. <laughs> they had to change the script. Like, yeah, they got money. They got money for next year too. <laughs> yeah, we was. Hype, they got but, money oh, for the year after that too. Nip brought it in. I don't know where that money came from. Man, it would have been legendary. Yeah. That's the one thing I'm like, man. But yeah, and then you know, tragedy struck. Unfortunately, we couldn't. Solid, be my but, boy. Mm -hmm. So you said that you had to cut off everything, uh, British. British. <laughs> British. Yeah, British. Yeah. <laughs> were you were you a fan of American TV, American music culture, culture yeah. over there, or was it like y'all got that over there? We got this. Like, like, what was you listening to? If I would have caught you before you came over here, got past border control, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. border control, yeah, right? You know, it, BC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who was Daniel before was, border exactly, control? Who was Daniel BC before border so control? Man. Yeah, uh, it was both. I so I grew up on a lot of um, uh, all all the biggest and best American stuff makes it to the UK. Cause the UK is small, right? So, so uh, we only produce so much. Like you could fit the UK inside of California, um, and then y'all still got like forty nine other states, and so y'all produce a huge amount. So yeah. we get a lot. So I grew up on Fresh Prince. I grew up on My Wife and Kids, and mm, Moesha, Sister, Sister, all those shows. Why we didn't had. you name Martin? Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> he got a fan. <laughs> I was waiting on it. I say, damn, he going down the line and left by my dog. My up? My bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> thought he really did something wrong. Oh, bro, yeah, you did something wrong. My God, my bad, my bad. It's all love on my this bad. show, my bad, my bad. You know who be quoting Martin like crazy? Breezy. Word. Breezy on set. Love she love Martin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's so funny. <laughs> I, I be, no, I've, I've never 
I don't think I've watched, and I love TV shows like this yeah. that have so many episodes that touch on so many real things that it's like later on you watch it and you like this is still good. Like I'll rewatch mm -hmm. it. Oh, you can say, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you could watch Martin today and still oh, hundred uh, percent, yeah. and still pull from it. Like yeah. I'm not like I don't know what's coming. Mm -hmm. Like I know what's coming. It's just today yes. I'm noticing like wow, y'all had this going on too. Like damn, I never mm -hmm. noticed that they were arguing. And that's why this happened. Like I was just laughing because they was oh, roasting. Talking about the off screen. No, 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 no. I'm saying on screen. Like I didn't, you know, you as a child, you'll watch something yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're just yeah. laughing at the little funny part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not oh, realizing the actual situation. There's a conflict. Yeah. There is like, a problem. And yeah. they're making fun of like a married couple or mm -hmm. a woman putting pressure on somebody because they not married or and Tommy you, not having a job. <laughs> like you're older now and you've seen some stuff and you've been saying? and so your perspective is I'm different. looking, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, looking yeah, at yeah. some of the stuff like, damn, bro, they really everybody kind of got that one homie that's like, bro, <laughs> what is your job? <laughs> And I'm like, this this is brilliant. He yeah, made yeah, it yeah. funny. Like, damn, yeah. Tommy ain't got no job. It's funny as hell. But how many of us have a homie where it's like, bro, he be around. Yeah. He wearing chains. He <laughs> he hang out with us. He never <laughs> pays for anything. <laughs> where does he work? He tells us he does stuff yeah. all the time. He may say, I hit a lick. He may say, I did this. I did that. But it's vague, no it's vague as hell. Yeah. No. <laughs> You might as well say the person's name. For Not at all. I got a couple of them. I know a couple of them like that, though. But they don't even, like, it's cool because it's like Tommy literally never gave a job title. That's genius. He, never had. he yeah, walked yeah. away out of it. Like, he, he got his way out of it every time somehow. And it's like, when I watch it now, I'm laughing because I'm like, bro, this man is describing that I'm only going to understand mm -hmm. when I'm 30. But yeah, he made yeah, it funny yeah. still if yeah. I'm three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, I'm like that's cold that's as hell. Yeah, yeah. You know what that's I'm saying? Just, it's, like it's good writing. It's good writing. Good. Acting I just be. And, yeah. I guess I, I I I thought of comedic routes. I, I thought of comedies as like that's that's easier type of it, thing. No, it's, it's like you different. have to really be able to it's write. Different. Yeah. yeah, it's different, especially like, now compared yeah. to back then. You could see there's a huge difference in what they talk about and what is actually funny. Because oh, a lot right, of people right. don't think Martin is funny. Like if you give it to a kid now or somebody younger now, you don't, don't think, think a kid it's would funny. like it. I don't think so. Oh, we got to put Pia to the test. So uh, she almost there. Yeah. She almost there. How old? How, how, Peas, you oh, almost there, baby. Yeah, my daughter. She's four. Yeah, four. I, I yeah. say about six. We let it rock. About six, I mean, she gonna be like, we oh, can try. man, we can oh, try. Man. Turn it on when she see how much she got to play with. How many seasons she got? It's just so much to play with. Like she's gonna be hooked. We'll see. I, I mean, I don't know. Like comedies. What? Do you do comedies? Um, I haven't as I'm of your yet. agent right now. Yeah, so. yeah. I haven't as of yet, but I want to. But comedy So we thinking about it. For sure. But comedy <laughs> is <It's a> sweet. <laughs> weirdly, comedy's um I find comedy more intimidating than drama. Mm. Because there's something about people expecting you to be funny. Oh, that's like if you ain't funny, that's it. Yeah. Like I you know, I love um stand up comedy and the one when they bomb, oh yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. I'll be like this in the because I feel so bad. It's crazy. That's the hardest <laughs> That's job, the bro. Like, thing. But don't you face you the same those? thing when you act? No. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's different because uh, like it's- You get a team. There's a team around me. It's written, the thing's pre, it's already done. It's written and, and you know, especially on TV and film, if it doesn't work, we, we can go again. Mm. And we can, you know, I could, I yeah, could put my hand- Y'all are already you know bought I mean? in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I could put my hand up and say, yo, this scene ain't working. Can we work this differently? Can we do something else? Can we, and we can f like find it. I think you can do that. I don't think. But what about like an audition? I like, think, you can't I'd bomb been on an some, audition in front hey, of I'd have like, been on some sets where it's it's live for whoever else on there. The big <laughs> actors, they nailed it. <laughs> yo, little they nail it. Uh. <laughs> Ain't gonna be too many more takes for you. Yeah, they like, what's them guys nailing? Like, you probably- Where he from? That's where yeah. they gonna be. Where he from? They get the uh, clipboards out. <laughs> Spencer they get likes it. Yeah. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> like, Spencer I says yes. I would never do that. <laughs> I would never do that. Oh, bro, <laughs> we're on like set. It. Spencer said next scene. He's bro. gonna keep him locked in. He's on a roll. Like, what? But stand up, stand up's, it's cold, bro. It's a lonely, it looks I like love a it. lonely. I love watching it. I think it's funny both ways though. Like I, I think. See, you ain't got no empathy, bro. <laughs> I do. I do. Check it out. My, explain. My, there you go. I've been looking for a good way to describe your deficiency. That's it, right there. Deficiency. All the way from Britain, man. It's he just he didn't answer all my questions. I'm gonna buy you a gift. That is so if somebody if somebody's bumming like hard and it's crickets, you still I, I can't, bro. I would listen though. It damn near will activate them. 
So I've been in a crowd. When I've you been say in a, that Check happened. this out. I've been in a crowd. Ronnie Jordan was performing. I go see Ronnie. I'm sitting in the back. You know what I'm saying? Chilling. Mm -hmm. Ronnie goes. He got the crowd buzzing. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I end up trying to go get the drink and he done roasted me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was funny. Mm -hmm. Next dude go up having a bad night. Mm -hmm. Just a bad night. Bad follow up. Bad everything. Like, it was bad. Like people was about to start mm -hmm. getting disrespectful. And dude says something. And the crowd didn't really catch it, what he said, but somebody else in the crowd definitely just thought it was funny. So I thought that was funny that <laughs> he got one laugh, but it was it was a perfect laugh. Like he caught the joke. If we all caught it that late, it would have been like brought the house down. But I just thought they wasn't fucking with him. Your basically. comedy career would be so Bro, interesting. When I you tell you, when I tell he won by getting one. That's life. not when he won. That's oh, not okay, when he won. Okay, that ain't okay. when he fought back. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I started laughing, but because my laugh got kind of contagious, some more people started laughing. Mm. So he say, "Well, at least they laugh. Y'all okay. just a bunch of dumb motherfuckers." That's what you <laughs> I said. <laughs> you got lean out. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. everybody took off. Like mm -hmm. now you got the crowd. Now yeah, yeah, the yeah. next five things you say finna be funny as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I helped you out. Yes. Also, but you saved the day. I've also okay. I helped That's them. Well, I honestly, okay. buddy, the other buddy saved him, to tell you the truth. Cause he no, activated you saved me. him. Yeah, you saved him. You know what I'm saying? He activated me. But I also can be that guy in the crowd that you say something, I'll be like, bro, this. It's not funny, bro. Never, no, no, it's I not funny, never, bro. I, I ain't that. gonna lie. Never. It ain't. I'll do just what you said. I'll be getting short in yeah. the seat. Like, mm, I'll be like, bad, bro, like, it's not bad. funny. Like, don't look at me. No, bro. it's not funny. <laughs> don't <laughs> look at me because you up there and I'm down here. Yeah, but it ain't. They ain't laughing. That's cold <laughs> like, shit. No, no, I can never. Do I'm definitely yeah, on that because you got to remember, I play basketball, so I'm used to it. Like, yeah. I be arguing with fans. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I think that's fun. Who are your favorite stand up? Comedians. Oh man. Um if I had to pick a favorite, I think uh it would be probably Dave Chappelle. Yes. There's a dude called uh Tom Segura that I, I just Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is funny, man. Hey, I got we got we got a question for you. We we was thinking this. Oh, why y'all British keep taking all the American jobs? Oh, yeah. Y'all putting us out of business. Like, why y'all? Why y'all so good? Outside of Denzel and his son, like, you don't see none of y'all coming over here. Like, hey like, man, can you do boat. a Iman? Can you do a British accent? Y'all no, don't, don't never like, ask me for. Shit. But, <laughs> I come over there and fake. Them. Maybe not you personally, not, but like this definitely. Um, damn, you heard that? Maybe not you <laughs> personally. It's a boot fit. But definitely, but there's definitely uh, American actors playing UK roles, like. Uh, Dude from uh, Atlanta, Brian Tyree Henry, he just played a British dude. Where? In uh, the Brad Pitt movie. Brad Pitt. Oh, movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what was, was it called? Money Gotta Train? Be. Bullet Train. Bullet Train. And Bullet so, train. you know. Chicago. I mean? Bullet Train. <laughs> it's good. It's a good movie. And so, but again, like I said before, y'all industry is huge. Yeah. And so, just by the numbers, there's way more stuff getting made here. Mm -hmm. than there is in the UK. Well, we here to tell you, listen, <laughs> since there's so much over here and y'all ain't got enough over there, call me and Ari, we'll put on a bridge. We gonna yeah, get yeah. you a bro, he gonna get us right. <laughs> you feel me? If, uh, uh, what, what you need? Uh, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> there, you right, man. there you go. I just be watching Top Man, man. So top I, Boy. Top yeah, Boy, yeah, Top yeah. Boy, Top Man. That's you know gonna ruin. Top Bag. That's gonna ruin us. Bag Man. Like Black American, bag man. Young Black American man. Bag like man top bad Boy man is gonna bag. ruin us. It's gonna have us doing So Top Boy. It's big over here. It's big. Oh, it's real big oh, family. Yeah. Big family. Yeah, oh, I can it's tell. Yeah, <laughs> see? Yeah. Get the food. Your fam. food, my food. Yeah, your food. His is food. My, for real, fam. Like off bro, the socials. Love, fam. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's That's crazy. <laughs> like every time they finna kill somebody. Oh yeah, boy, yeah, why y'all? Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing out That's there. Yeah, yeah. Oh my lord. But every, they really but do not it? just them. Like, <laughs> they really do. But not just them. Like everybody. Your mom will do that. Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if your mom's like Jamaican or something, the hell yeah. That's it. That's the key. They got so many it's a, um, like a, African a, and Caribbean Caribbean yeah. influence over there. It just what is that? turns what is that? into like its a, own. What is it's that? Like, yeah, it's like it's like us going. Yeah, oh, it's the it same. Is. Yeah, but you'd be like, 
<laughs> that's how you know you're in trouble. That's wild. Yeah, yeah that's been wild. Because that means somebody about to die. Yeah, yeah like that means send that. the birds up. Like, <laughs> like yeah, what's he, that? He, Sully, Sully, give you the. Yeah. That's one of the coldest characters on TV. Oh, bro. bro. By the way, the yeah. way y'all ended that, wow. Mm. It Why broke my heart. You should have got in that. You, you know what's crazy? So worried about well, he was no, nah, nah, he was like, you know what's crazy? Yeah. I did. Like, no, I no. tried. I tried. <laughs> no, no, no. I, so when that f- Top Boys, um, remember it, it got canceled in the UK, and mm-hmm. then Drake got involved, right? And boy, back. So when it first came out, I was still in school. I was still in theater school. That's how oh, way yeah, back. Yeah, top yeah. Way. You talking about the the summer house? Joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that okay. was the original one that came out just in the UK, mm-hmm. and I was still like in theater training. I was still doing Shakespeare and stuff. That, that was a minute out. ago. And it blew up, but it was like a um, underground like cult hit. And so they canceled it. But for some reason, like Drake loved it and he brought it back. And Smart he man. Involved with it. And I think it, the fact that he didn't, he still kept it what it was. Mm-hmm. He didn't try to be like, all right, now you got to take the show to Canada or do this and do, right. he just like, I'm gonna leave y'all to just do what you do, and they kept it still Fire. good in London and everything. I love that, which was smart. It's yeah, a smart I love move. that. I love that about that that whole show. Yeah. You should you should have got in it though, bro. I know it'd be fun, bro. Like, it would have been fun, bro. Take us back to the beginning, bro. What's life, <laughs> what was life like in the, Start over. In the UK, bro? <laughs> like, for real, give it to me straight, bro. It's I mean, I'm, it was it was a it's an accurate portrayal of not all London, but some parts of London is it's really that gully. This podcast is brought to you by Cash App. And that is right. Cash App has the tools to make saving easier. Start building towards your saving goals one dollar at a time. Iman, what are some of the things that you're saving for? Well, I'm just saving for a rainy day, like I like to say. Um, Yeah, I'm always saving, always trying to get my snowball bigger. Yeah, so what are some of the things you're saving up for? Uh, To be honest, Christmas. Shopping for a four-year-old girl and a teenage boy. The boy's easy, the girl is not. She wants everything from everywhere, tree houses, doll houses, mm-hmm. cars, big wheel, whatever. All of that gets expensive and yeah, I'm just, I'm dreading the bill. Oh um, yeah, it sucks being Santa. Yeah. Reaching your goals, whatever they may be, is faster with cash apps, roundups, and offers. You're paying yourself, even while you're paying someone else. And while your money's building in cash app, you could literally be doing anything other than thinking about your money. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like uh, financial self-care. Hmm. That's money and that's Cash App. So download Cash App today from the App Store or the Google Play Store to start saving today. Save your money. Like right now. How, uh, what made you decide to go to acting school? So I am um, I met an actor when I was, uh, you know, so I'm not from London. I'm from a city called uh, Birmingham. And it's like it's about two hours north of London. And there was no one from my city that I knew really that was doing it. And I, I met an actor who, who um, he was the first actor I'd ever met or knew that actually he'd been on TV and had mm-hmm. been on stage. And he kind of took me under his wing and he was straight up. He said, you know, you got a lot of talent, but you kind of rough around the edges and you should go train. If you really want to do this and make this like a career, something you're going to do for years, you should train. You should go and you should learn how to, you know, manipulate your voice and your body and, you know, study like theater and stuff. Like It's going to give you the best foundation. Um, and it's it's going it mean it's going to take longer. The journey is going to take longer, but your the what it's going to give you in that three four years you take to train, it's going to serve you for the rest of your career. And I was I was it wasn't it was never about getting into movies or on TV or being famous. I just loved acting. So I was like, as long as I'm acting, I'm cool. I don't care what I'm doing. So if you feel like I should go this route and do it, will I be acting? Yeah, cool. Then I'm gonna go do it. And so that's what I did. And then there's something real special about those British theater schools because it's purely about the craft. You know, agents aren't allowed to see you. Damn. Producers, casting directors, they can't come to your shows until the f- uh, third year. Oh, that's like uh, 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 NBA coming to our collegiate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. How the scouts can't be there till sanctioned. Exactly, because <clears throat> they just want you focused on your craft and getting Damn, it. Damn, so y'all like, leave me. <laughs> <laughs> Like it is. Yeah. I mean, it is a they whole. They don't want you distracted. Yeah. You know, and it's a whole union. Like they got. Yeah. It's a they don't process. want you. They don't yeah, want I'm you. Part distracted. of the union now too. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. I they don't want you distracted. They don't want you thinking about fame or money or anything. They just want you thinking about the the craft of 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 acting. And then once you've done that for a few years, then it's like, all right, now people can come see you. We can think about agents and headshots. Right. And, that. and so that was the. It was. It was the best some of the best four years I spent because I just got to, I was free. 
I was free to just try shit and make a fool out of myself and do dumb shit. And I met so much cool people. And then I felt like I was ready and then got an agent and then it just went from there. That's fire. What makes you like, say like, yeah, I want to act. Like I love acting. Like, was you like a, a, a somebody that do impressions? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like a class clown. I was always trying to make people laugh. I was always- I could tell, you know what though? I'm gonna tell you this. You can act cause Spencer don't act like this. No. <laughs> like your whole temperature is Yeah, different. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. you really like on that show, you, I, I was like, you really give me a kid. Yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said good. good. I did my <laughs> job. Right, I did what I was did my sh I take that. <laughs> the fuck. Like, yeah, I'm in high school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Like, no, no. damn well he wasn't. No, <laughs> it's crazy though. When I watch it, I'm like, bro, he really do. He's manipulating mm -hmm. his whole shit. Like, you shrinking yourself yeah, a little yeah, bit too. Yeah. Cause like, you sit up like a, like, yeah. a grown up man. Yeah, nice. like, I'm a grown up man. Yeah, like, yeah. You get what I'm saying? But it's like on that show, you like have this like quiet timidness. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. But that's what you mean about, I'm saying this. So I'm, Aside from doing the interview for y'all, I'm really trying to get some some, some shit off this right now. <laughs> you feel me? Like I get his acting yeah, bag yeah, myself. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, like the body thing, that's something you learned in. For sure. Just, Cause mm -hmm. it, I remember one of the, uh, how we move is, is says so much about us. And I remember there was one thing we did in, in school where they got everybody up and we just had to walk around the class. And then we had to pick somebody in the class to follow. Mm -hmm. And for like 10 minutes, we're just following them behind them and picking up every, how they're moving. And we have to slowly change how we're moving until everybody's walking like everybody else. In front. And then they would pick someone out and say, who's he walking like? And you could tell, I'd be able to look at that person and say, oh, they're walking like this person. Cause you'd be surprised at how we, how we move and how different it is when you're paying attention. And then it teaches you to just kind of like be a woman. <laughs> I can't wait. That's why I'm gonna oh, follow everybody foot. Oh, no. but, hey, listen, I'm looking around how many people we got in this motherfucker right now. <laughs> what's the, uh, yeah, what's how much the, time we got in this motherfucker, <laughs> man? What are the signs? What do you look for? I mean, I mean, people, you know, some people, it's, they're are like on the front of their foot. Some people like this, you know, those people that want to mm -hmm. get somewhere and they're like, they're like, they're on their toes and they're just like, yeah. everything's forward. And some people are super laid back and just, Chilled and even just how they walk, they're under like the back of their foot and they're just like shoulders back. That's it, amazing. It will say it will it will tell you so much uh, about you. Um, there was a, there was an actor that <clears throat> he was playing twins, he was playing two different characters, and the 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 way he differentiated them, he played one character just leaning forward on the balls of his feet, and the other character played on the back because one character was super like in your face and talkative, and the other character was just chill. Mm. And it was such a subtle difference, but on the camera, you see that, you can pick that up. Crazy. And it's just like, just paying attention to, to those kind of details. Damn, so when you when you talk to people, you like analyze, are you analyzing mm. me right now? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. No. If, like, if this was like, if you was like, if I was trying to play you in a movie, hell yeah, I'd be analyzing you. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like <laughs> off right now. I feel like, yeah, but nah, I feel nah. like I watch what I say right now, man. Like, <laughs> all I can think is a Spider-Man picture with Point that yeah. they point at each other like yeah, this. Yeah, 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 I wish yeah. I would walk in the room, <laughs> walking like me. Like, stop, stop. I know that walk. Stop. But yeah, that's and and then you just you just you just kind of work your way through that, and that's how you kind of build the character. Like some people start with Damn, that. I'm gonna start bro. with how they move. I'm gonna I'm start, gonna start with, with that next time. I'm gonna yeah. try and walk like a because I, I I I think that's the main thing when I watch myself on camera that I'd be looking like I don't like that. Mm. I feel like a lot of my mannerisms, I can't turn off. Like that's just yeah. how I get yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, the first thing is just being conscious of it. Being conscious of the things that you do as you, mm -hmm. and then being like, all right, that doesn't work for this character. So I need to stop doing that. And yeah. just like practice, yeah. Like I, certain shit that I do and I'll be like, bro, I wonder how they control it. Cause when I meet certain people, that is what differentiates mm -hmm. Like I'll be mm -hmm. like, for his character do this. Mm -hmm. Like why he not? You know who's the best at that stuff? Who the Kids. Children do that stuff. You know when children mm, are kind of like playing, they're mimicking and like they'll mimic, like they'll mimic their parents, mimic like daddy and mommy and they're, uh -huh. and they're kind of repeating your phrases and stuff. Kids do that naturally. Right. They do that stuff naturally. That's why childhood actors be so goddamn good. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, Real yeah, yeah. Talk. Yeah. No, I ain't but talking just, about that. Now, them going crazy, that's on their own. It's some <laughs> whole different ball game <laughs> that we can talk about. Yeah, that's Hollywood. Yeah. But I mean, like, as far as like, 
plucking somebody that you saw be like like Shia LaBeouf. Every time mm-hmm. I see him do mm-hmm. something, mm-hmm. like it's like you can tell that he has a it's a different ball game. Like yeah. you can't call that man on set. Like I wouldn't even disrespect that man. Nah. It's like he been reading scripts since he was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like the way he probably analyzing the script is totally different. His his uh, uh, training has been different. Yeah, yeah. His um, like, his instincts is gonna yeah. Be like yeah. if you get, it's like going pro playing basketball. It's like all the guys that go pro. If you got to go pro in eighth grade. And before 18, like yeah. you got to play all this, you got all this experience on the way to 18. And now you 18, like, boy, you're going to be God. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. you've been he playing against without, grown men. That's Luca. He did it without the training too. That's Luca, by the way. Oh, Just that, them oh. overseas dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah. They be pro damn near when they 15. Really? So by the time yeah. the NBA get to see him, he 19. It's He's like already he been raw as hell, pro. but he a four-year pro. He oh, got shit. he picking up all the little shit. His age is just European, yeah, 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 yeah. Like European that. players come over here busting ass. And it's like, no, that's a grown ass man. <laughs> Play uh, like you got six kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shorty. Mm-hmm. Like, come on. <laughs> How many tricks do you know, brother? Uh, <laughs> many. <laughs> like, very many. But you must be able to do a similar thing in the NBA though, right? Because how how you're gonna defend someone. Oh, you're yeah. gonna be watching body language, right? You're gonna be watching what the it's it's not that honestly. Different. That's probably the best you know breakdown. I mean? It's yeah. not. It's yeah. not yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's that different. You hey, know? that's really what I do. I'm the way I've guarded. People would be like, "Bro, I don't know how you was guarding D Rose." I'm like, "Boy, I'm a fan." Boom! Exactly. You watch. Like, yeah, I know yeah, his yeah. every. Like, I know how he got to power up to do this. Exactly. I know why he can't get this pass around. Yeah, yeah. Like, he yeah. played for the Bulls too, so yes. I'm like, bro, I was studying this because I'm like, bro, I need them to win before I got to the league. I'm like, mm. I need y'all to win, bro. I need you to win. <laughs> I need you to bring it home for the crib, sweaty. I need this. It's like you MVP people. You like look back, like I'm trying. Oh, bro, he's looking at me like <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I think it's a similar thing. It is the like, way you would study someone that yeah, you're about to guard. I is, definitely is knew. Like I definitely know players' tendencies and their movements. Like I know what move they have to do so that they can get into their bag. Like I know you're about to attack me because you're doing your cone work. Like you go behind. So your then, bag. as a player, would you have to? Would you try and switch that up? Would oh you? yeah. So all I'm doing as a like as a player. Are you saying if somebody was doing that if to If you me? know somebody's doing that to you, are you going to be like, yeah. all right, I got it. Yeah, if I see somebody count dribbles, I know they like me. Like, say, oh, I'm dribbling, say I'm dribbling and I see somebody going boom, boom, or doing shit like that. They I'm count, like, you counting Oh, dribbling. I'm counting dribbles. <laughs> if you ever watch a clip of me in slow-mo and somebody dribbling, I ain't going to give them too much. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all going to have to pay for that. Y'all pay <laughs> Hakeem for all that. <laughs> Come pay me for these locks. Yeah. But uh, somebody coming, coming at you and dribbling the ball, you'll start realizing like, if I was to close my eyes, I used to, it was this drill we used to do in like sixth, seventh grade, I played on this AAU team where he would make us close our eyes, lay down, and he would dribble the ball, the coach would dribble the ball around us, two people would lay down, he'd dribble the ball around us. And then he stopped dribbling and it'd get dead quiet in the gym. Mm. And then while our eyes was closed, he'd throw the ball somewhere. And the moment you heard the ball hit, you were supposed to get up and take off to the sound. But it was supposed to just help you with like going awareness. on. Yeah, awareness of the ball and just knowing where you have to go. And you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people mm-hmm. just be lost sometimes, look up and don't know what the fuck is going on. It's like you ain't hear the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like you a counter. You didn't hear the shot clock. You didn't. It's really a counter to that. Like when you go dumb, it's like if you don't know how to think, it's like, all right, stop thinking. Your body will go take over yeah. and start Instinct. picking up on the uh, yeah, yeah, the sound. Exactly. So when I had somebody coming at me, I would listen to the sound. Like if you dribble, some people that dribble, they bring the ball up. It's like boom, boom. Huh. Boom, boom, boom. And then they cross half court and then it's boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, this is damn near carrying. I'm like, you, you, you cuffing the ball, bro. You can't even, that's, that's too slow. Yeah. But now I know I'm finna get real aggressive because you're palming the ball. So either I'm finna make it be obvious that you palming the ball yeah. or I'm finna fuck up your rhythm. So get prepared to dribble faster so the ball comes to your hand faster. But every time you do this and it's slow, if that ball goes down, the mo- I'm trying to wait for the moment that shit separate from your hand. I'm diving at you. So you got to, you, you going to do something like that. Yeah. Only a few of y'all can take that and smoothly grab it 
yeah, after yeah, you yeah. just released yeah. it and still get control. Like Kyrie is a special case of yeah, in the yeah. middle of doing that hill. And you'll be looking real stupid. You know? <laughs> so how do you how do you how do you zone in on that with everything that's going on? Because none of that ever matter. All that's been a blur for my whole life. I uh, think it's like a, a issue. You're not even aware of that. Yeah, I get so locked in on what's going on. My dad always taught me to stare at somebody's stomach, so I didn't even used to look at the ball. When I got to the league, I started looking at the ball because you start realizing this NBA. Sh- these motherfuckers is too good. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You got to start getting a step ahead. So I'm like, I know where your body is. Where the, where the rock? Because <laughs> y'all got too many tricks yeah, now yeah, and too yeah, many yeah. good players. Yeah. I'm not going to get dunked on because I don't know where the ball at. Like, got you got to know what's going on. So having that that moment where the ball come down and you stab at it, like mm-hmm. that got to be the same moment as, you know, y'all acting and saying, okay, his mannerism is he has a hitch of yeah. his arm. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I could yeah. tell, like, you remember, oh, you wanna know the one player we couldn't get though? Oh. Kevin fucking Martin. I just want you to know. Oh yeah, that weird release. I hate you <laughs> with all yeah. of my heart. <laughs> like I love you weird. as a basketball player, don't get me wrong. But I hate you, bro. Cause I never picked up your rhythm. I never understood. It never made sense to me. Manu Ginobili started to make sense to me. Mm. Tony Parker. I don't know if you just got old or it started making sense, but I finally was able to figure you out after a while, even though you made me look stupid a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was like picking up Kevin Martin, he had this like hitch before he mm-hmm. shot that it was like, it, it was unlike- You couldn't, plan, you couldn't, I plan couldn't for time it. it. Yeah, you can't time it. And then he might do this and it's like, oh, I, I finally timed it and he don't even, he, it's a shot fake. I'm like, this just shot faked with that? You know what I'm saying? But his rhythm, and it was like he was fucking with me. It's like he knew that I couldn't gather yeah, yeah, that yeah. rhythm. Yeah. Another one that figured it out, JJ Reddick, he just started saying, fuck you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he would come off a screen, and if I was right there, he would Go pitch through. that shit yeah. right back to whoever <laughs> threw it to him, and then sprint off another screen, and then look back again, like, up, oh, lost him. <laughs> and then score me up, so another one. You, JJ. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Right. <laughs> Even though he had a, he's another one, hell of an analyst, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's Shout out to Bring it back to real. Yeah. Um, is acting competitive? Right. Speaking of this. Yeah, you beefing with yeah. other actors? We nah, got acting I, I, beef? It's competitive. You know, I mean, I mean, I'm sure some people are. You don't, but. That you um, just basically, who is it? Who don't yeah, like right, you? You just told no, no, us I somebody. Don't don't, he like, said, I mean. No, no, I'm saying it's definitely competitive because there's way more people trying to act than there is jobs. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's it, those, you know, sports and entertainment, it's like everyone wants to do it, mm-hmm. but it's tiny. The amount of people that get to that level is, yeah. is tiny. So for that, you're always gonna be watching the next person and, and especially in the beginning, you know, you, you're gonna be like aware of who's around you and what they're doing. But really it's just, it, it's what you do with that information depends on the person. So some people could take that in a negative way and mm-hmm. they they just be hating, yeah. You know there was a lot. There's, there's there's a lot of that. But then there's some people that it's inspiring. Oh shit, you. So wait, you you start studying your lines a week before, or right, I'm gonna do two weeks before, and you just use it as a way to kind of like. You know, Iron sharp, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the that's the best way to do it. But Which way are you? I, I'm that way. You don't but have I'm def- me. No, I'm not. I'm not. Cause I've <laughs> definitely been jealous before i've definitely been like watching people i came up with like oh you doing that movie you work with that director but then you gotta catch yourself mm. because it's not helpful that's not helpful to me it's not gonna um everyone's <clears throat> journey is the same mm-hmm. you know i remember there was a dude that i did we did a uh we both did guest spots in a tv show and then we both went up for a part and he got it and i was like because i wanted it the script was so good yeah. but then when i watched it i was like mm. even i would have picked him he was built like, for that. He was playing like in general, and, and he's like six five. And I was like, oh, even I would have picked him. It just makes sense. You right. just have to, you, you you can't. It's never personal. No, that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's never personal. It's beautiful that you'll even admit it. Like, yeah. hell yeah, I've been yeah, jealous. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But you you learn that jealousy is a, a natural human emotion. You know right. what I mean? It's just what you do with it is is down to you. I think jealousy is can be powerful. But you gotta use it. I don't really believe in. Um, That's crazy. That's a bar. You know what I mean? I don't really That's believe in like negative or g- good or bad emotions. It just it mm-hmm. depends what you do with them. Like if I'm angry, people say, "Oh, you should never be angry or don't allow yourself to have anger." But if I'm angry and I go to the gym, it's gonna be the best workout of the week. 
What's the furthest it's gone? <laughs> the furthest? Because <laughs> y'all got on fights in on, on what you call it. Like you ever had to do a fight scene right. and it just y'all did y'all have a Jamie Fox, uh, yeah. LL Cool oh, J? Jamie nah. Fox and LL Cool J people was real. <laughs> <laughs> don't know if y'all know. I that. heard that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. And yeah. that's why it looks so goddamn good. <laughs> Young actors want to do everything. Yeah. Like no, 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 really hit me. No, you, you want to go there. Yeah, yeah, like, like you go there. Do everything because you like you. But still, you want to bring it out exactly. You're still trying to prove yourself, and you got all these stories about things. Like, oh no, I want to like just punch me it just like it's all kinds of crazy shit. yeah and so me and this dude our, our characters hate each other i was i was playing uh this woman's son and he was playing her new husband so he was like my stepfather God, mm -hmm. we hated each other in the script we hated each other so we was like all right we were rehearsing for six weeks i was like let's shut it down for six weeks we were friends it was like let's shut it down for six weeks let's not talk to each other let's just keep that that thing, that that hatred in real life. So we be at lunch and just like like just hating each other, but like twenty four seven. You know what I mean? So like, and we kept, so you really just told yourself in your mind, I, I don't just, like him. Yeah, I was like, I don't like him. I'll quit him. And I'd catch him giving me dirty looks, and we we just held it. And the performance like was amazing. It was a dope. Everyone what loved is this? it. It was a play. Oh, oh yeah, I'm tripping. I'm looking like, nah, damn, what's this school? movie, Shorty? Yeah, nah, I didn't nah, even was, see it, if he it, was really mad. Yeah, yeah, it was in school. It was in school. And um, but it, but we couldn't shake it. So when it was over, we was like It was awkward. We couldn't it was it was Damn, they could well. no longer be friends. Like, and we had eventually we had to acknowledge it. it's like, yo, D, are you good? <laughs> I was like, we good? Like, yeah, I, I think so. Like we couldn't, we was locked in that for so long. That, that you start telling yourself, I don't like it. I have to, I have to remind myself, oh no, he's good. Like he's, that's the homie. Like we're good. <laughs> we're good. That's crazy. Your brain don't know that shit's not real, bro. <laughs> like I'm telling you. Please your don't tell him that. Yeah. <laughs> what Please. you mean? <laughs> bro, we just, that man sent the hour telling me about some ghost shit. How it's real. Don't you dare. Ghost shit, what you mean? What? Don't you dare. It wasn't. Don't you dare. You say you don't believe and we There's move context. on. There's context. There's context. I don't believe in ghosts. I'm going to just say that. Perfect. I, I, All right, cool. My, okay. my dog. I don't. I don't. For that shit either. But having, okay. I, 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 I don't know some, I do know some people that's a weird. He basically was saying like stuff don't be real. It be real in your mind. Okay. So it's real. No, 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 <laughs> no. Like you just said. Yeah. Okay, yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, something could not be can there, believe, but, but he can believe that it's real. That's what I'm saying. It's no, not he that said his real. mind doesn't realize that I know, it's not but real. It's still yeah. only happening in his mind. So I got the, the power ghost, to walk up to him. The ghost <laughs> only happening yeah, in your mind. No, it's happening in like another dimension. Uh, that's uh, ghost. I thought the dimension only happens in your mind. That's the only uh, way you could get there. No, that's the only way you can travel there. But once you're there, your body's still here. Where are we traveling? We travel. What do you mean? You you know like uh here we go you know like ESP, it's traveling like, dimensions okay. on the podcast <laughs> boy you get sponsored by Cash App and now you NASA <laughs> now you NASA this no, got no, a no, green no, ring and all that you I was NASA talking to the, uh, I was talking about the the Amityville movies okay and about just like how spirits prey on weak minds oh okay so that's what okay. he's relating that to like when you can't have a mind of the week. Not not like a mind of the week, but like when you're stressed out, like what you were just talking mm -hmm. about, like say if you were holding some, harboring some type of feeling yeah. and you had it with somebody, like say you died the next day, your spirit might come back and haunt that dude that you had beef with, not knowing that it wasn't a real beef, but that's where you were at when you I left. See. So I it's see. like, that's okay. where your mind was at its weakest okay. when you left. Yeah. <gasps> what the he said he sees. He said he understands, right? No, no, I he mean, gets it, it. He gets it. He just was like, I'm not saying it's real. I'm a liar. So yeah, he like, I ain't know that's it. what I was opening up. <laughs> no, the whole reason, I, the whole reason I, I had told him that was because that's after seeing those movies, I was just like, oh, okay, that's cool that they're actually showing me what people don't actually know. You see no, what I feel I'm what you're saying. No, that's no, I do. I just yeah. be playing. I ain't gonna lie. It's crazy. Sorry to get that deep. The same way, the same way you you like like had to remind yourself yeah, that I was yeah. you know I grew up hating this like we had real hatred real beef like over over what I anything. don't know anything you don't know exactly same yeah. way you didn't but come to find out my my granny ended up telling me y'all the closest she like you don't like when he let you like you don't like him to lose like if he lose and he not mad about it you pissed if he lose and you not mad about it 
Like if he, let's say he lost a game yeah. and he not pissed, I'm pissed. And I'm not fucking with him today. Cause I'm like, that ain't, no. Nah. See how weird that is? That's weird as hell. But she was explaining it to me like I've seen this shit a million times. She used to tell me it all the time. And then I'm like, I don't know what you talking about, but I don't fuck with him. She be like, all right. She like, that's who gonna take care of your money. That's who gonna do this. That's who you gonna trust. That's the one that'll actually punch you in the face. Like she used to tell me this shit all the time. Nah, we fight, my mama used to be like, y'all gonna kill each other. Y'all gonna do this, why y'all doing this? And then she'd be embarrassed at the cookout. We gonna fuck the cookout up over and over. Yeah, we had- what, what would y'all fight about? Anything. Who was winning this basketball, basketball game? Yeah, was who was beat basketball. Who beat who on the video game was over celebrating? Who wore whose shoes or clothes or He or was shirt. notorious are for that. Are y'all close in age? Yeah. Three years under Three years. No. He just act like my little brother. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's not like, right. Don't <laughs> <laughs> like, He just no act sir. like the little homie, man. You know what I'm saying? But what, then I was like, I actually f with dude. Huh? What gives you that? The little what? homie. Like, so you Are know you that's not true. Six man. inches shorter than me. Like, no. Right, but I'm not a little and homie. My, and I feel like my face, like, says, if we're going to talk to the family, talk to him. <laughs> you know I, mean? I feel like I'm the leader of the new school. <laughs> like, what school? <laughs> right, I'm understanding the hatred now. That you still say it's a school of four. <laughs> it's a school of four. We're fish. Imagine waking up hey, and hearing this <laughs> at like 10 a.m. Yeah, and then you're supposed four. to go about your day it's and come back to four. this. We're at fish. Three. Uh, how does it feel to have the actor strike over with? So we finished, we wrapped last season and we was on break. And that break was supposed to be a couple months and then we right back to it. Yeah. And so usually in the break, I, you know, I'm in the gym. I'm like, I might go home, see my family real quick in England and come back and then we right back to it. It was supposed to be two, three months, ended up being seven, eight. And so it's, it, I could even feel it. Like when I knew, when I knew we were supposed to be going back and we wasn't, mm -hmm. I was antsy. I was like in a bad mood all the time. I was just like, cause I don't do, I, I like purpose. So why I, you don't do freestyles? Freestyles? Like mm. like freestyle scenes, like for us. What? Like, you know how, like, say they had a, a strike for yeah. basketball. We go and we play where you don't get to see us play. I feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, exactly. So what I turned that into was writing. And I started writing. Oh, and so I started now you like, writing scripts. Yeah, so I started So like, you need me to play? Yeah, 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 my agent's gonna call you. Yeah, yeah. That's a little time they third party, you like that. Yeah, my agent will call you, even though I'm right here in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Look for that agent. Yeah, no, yeah. But yeah. yeah, so I, cause I realized I was, I was still like busy, right? I was, you know, I was going to the gym, I was, I was seeing people, I was doing stuff, but I was like, something about not being creative was messing, messing with my head. And so I was like, all right, what can I do? I can't shoot the show right now. That's just, I'm gonna have to accept that. What can I yeah. do? And so I started writing and, you know, Anything get picked up? Just, I, well, I, I, I want to film. I got like a little short that I'm trying to film that I want to put out and stuff and just little things like that. But you know, these what's good about it, those things take time to put together. You got to find a crew, you got to do this. But oh, wow. I, I realized that I enjoy that process. Yeah. I enjoy like, which I guess will be producing. And I, I enjoy that stuff. I enjoy, you know, bringing something from nothing and turning it into something. And uh -huh. so that's kind of the last couple of months is what I've been doing. It started off as a, just a way to keep me sane, you know? That's fire. And then it's now it's hopefully turned into something that I can put out and let people see and enjoy. That's fire. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever worked on small uh, scale films like that? Like what you're talking about, like a short? Yeah, my whole actor? yeah my whole beginning was that mm -hmm. you know I my first role I didn't have no lines. My first role was like man outside bar. That was mm -hmm. the name of my character, <laughs> like man sitting outside bar. It's the first role I ever got, Action. and I, I was just sitting outside the bar. They gave me a big German Shepherd dog. And they was like, just hold this dog, the lead's gonna walk past you. You say what's, you kind of hug them and then they leave. And I ended up improvising a line <laughs> and they liked it and they kept it in. And that's how I kept my, I got my mm. first line. And then um, my second role was, I had two lines. What was the line? Uh, I said something about like, she had, it was a younger girl with an older dude. The dude was older mm. and she was in her twenties. And I was like, yo, you good? That dude old as hell or something like that. Copy and so they loved it, and they, the yeah, 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 film. and 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 they loved it, and they kept it in, mm. and then so it was a real slow process, like a tiny little part. All right, you go, you mean one scene in one episode, and then a yeah. couple scenes, and then all right, you got one episode, and then three episodes, and it was just like a slow build. It's crazy to hear yeah. how everybody like climbs up that ladder, yeah. different. Like yeah. some people is just like, 
they randomly got put on some. They fell into a good character. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Poof, and it you know what I'm saying? It's some people that be mad that they didn't get to do how you're saying it, where they was little by little. Oh, really? Yeah. Because there's it. some people that got thrown into this role and they like, well, now I can't get out of it. Or it's like I'm stuck here. They like people know me yeah, from yeah, this yeah. show. Oh yeah, yeah. If you've been on something mm-hmm. too long, four yeah, seasons, yeah. five seasons, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. now nobody wants me because nobody yeah. sees nothing. But that used to happen a lot, and especially old. I mean, the shows don't really go as long now. Um, but they, you know, back in the day, there were some shows that go ten seasons, mm-hmm. twelve seasons. It's hard for people to see was something else after ten seasons of one. Unless thing. you're doing stuff simultaneously. Unless you do stuff, and you that stuff's really crazy hard, different. Yeah. And stuff super different. But then there's also some people that. Um, the big stuff came too quick. Mm. You know, they wasn't ready for the attention or maybe they didn't know how to take care of money good. And so, you know, they always say like so many of them people that win the lottery go broke. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, getting that amount that quick, I'm sure, I mean, this must happen in, you know, NBA and NFL and stuff like that. You know, you forget, you forget how young these kids are when you get drafted into the league and stuff, you still a kid, so to speak. And if your deal is 50 mil and you giving that to a 20 year old, like I'm glad, I remember I auditioned for some, I auditioned for uh, some big stuff. Like when I first came out that and none of them I'm got. And now I'm so grateful because I needed a ton of like, I needed to get my to get now, like my attitude towards like just money is way different now mm-hmm. than like when I first got out of this school. So if you gave me a big, I remember I auditioned for Dr. Dre, straight out of Compton. And he, and, he, and I got kind of close, but I'm looking back. You was like, gonna be Dre? No, nah, I wasn't gonna be Dre. You I was like- Too hey. light skin. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't play that light skin, was, man, <laughs> man. That's what probably why do? I see, that's probably why I didn't get it. It was gonna need a powder <laughs> on that man. It was gonna powder that man up. Yeah, <laughs> but all those roles, those big roles that would have like put me on the map, yeah. I'm glad it took a while for that to happen. You feel like your craft mm-hmm. is way better now? 100%. So you feel like if you were handed those now, you'd be ready in every way type shit? Oh yeah, I feel like I can do something like, I can, I can do a role like that big now, but I don't Did think I was- Did you feel like back, you don't think you was ready back then? I'm talking about yeah. acting wise, not like the other stuff that's involved. I mean, I feel like, I feel like skill. I could, I could have rose to the challenge, but I don't think it would have been- How it would now. How it would be now. I yeah. ain't gonna lie, boy, you play in the- Kyle Smith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but even lie. that, like that was my first lead role and I'm glad that took a second. I believe the f out of that yeah. role. Cause even just the work know. ethic, the work ethic is crazy. You know, being a lead or something is like you in every day, you in every scene. Real talk, you made me feel like you really love football. Yeah. I swear <laughs> yeah, to God. I do now, just, but yeah, no, 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 when we talked yeah. about it, like I thought you was gonna be like, yeah, man, even though I was over there, like I always watch the Bears. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I, I'm saying. Yeah, I was thinking he gonna talk about no, no. Brian Erlacher, Lance yeah. Briggs, one of the Bears. I know, I don't know what it was. I didn't know what football That's was. That's insane. Bro. You had never seen football Mm-mm. at all. Boy, the man be on mm-hmm. All American, like he eat footballs. <laughs> that first, I remember that first Pig season. Skin. That first season, I bought a football and I carried it everywhere, and I just kept it because I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh, this dude." I mean, you know, you studying the scripts, and I'm and I'm like, "Oh," especially in American sports, it's such a insanely. Huge, it's like a religion over here, like mm-hmm. uh, football and basketball, and so I realized that a lot of you can tell me if this is the same. A lot of these kids, you had a ball in your hand since you was, 100%. right? You remember when you told me I was going to be a kid dribbling the ball in the shadows in high school <laughs> that nobody was going to hang out with me? <laughs> I don't remember. Hey, That's Taco, funny though. Hey Taco, Ari told me that I was going to be a kid dribbling <laughs> that basketball in the shadows with no friends. <laughs> was that true? Tuh. I was the popular kid. Oh, okay. Tuh. He's such a why would I even say that? <laughs> it was just one of our That's many nights. That's gotta be a reason. It was one of our many nights of going back and forth, but I'll never forget laying in the bed like this, staring at the ceiling. I was mad as hell. So that we, hurt your heart. <laughs> oh, I was mad as hell because we was so playing ball. Worked. We was playing ball and I think something happened. Like we was talking about, like, you know how we have them games like, well, you cheated anyway. I was, <laughs> I was on my, you cheated. Like, yeah. you cheated. Like, and you like, yeah, at this point, you was like, just let it go. Like, yeah, like you lost, shut the up before we fight or some okay, some extra nobody shit. getting paid. Yeah, yeah, it was nobody. quiet as hell, dark as hell. I can't even see this. And he said, "You just gonna be dribbling your little basketball when you get to high school." 
<laughs> your little basketball. <laughs> Standing in the shadows. I didn't do that. Standing in the shadows is deep. <laughs> <laughs> That part's deep. That's the deep part. You can just hit like, like, out the dribble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, that's that, it. Yeah. Yes, it was you crazy. Just, but I be kept, telling people all the time, he's like my biggest motivator. Yeah. Like, he, yeah. he used to think that he just said a quick insult, and I used to use it. Use yeah. the anger. Yeah. Use it. <laughs> he was it like, depend on what yeah, you do deep. with the emotion. You're going to feel them all. Do uh, something with it. I if was, you kept it at like you wouldn't, I don't even think you'd be talking about it now. If you kept it at, um, <laughs> you just gonna be dribbling your ball in high school. But For ending real. it with back on the shadows, ending shadows. it with in that's the shadows. The that's so deep, bro. It was in the <laughs> shadows. It's dark. <laughs> like, so it's so deep. much shade. That's so dark. How, how so old was shade. I when I said You about this? shade room? <laughs> so this. So deep. You want to step because into the shade room? Because it's kind of this. Po- it's kind of poetic, you know. Uh huh. <laughs> it's, it's like you thought that through. You knew that was staying. That's gonna be a dad. Your next movie. Yeah. Oh, Somebody <laughs> gonna be making. Somebody gonna be dribbling in the shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. They ain't gonna, gonna be, say the line. Go, you just gonna be dribbling. Yeah, but it's gonna be the the slow dribble you was talking about. Where he palm in the ball. It's gonna be like boom. Look, boom, put a bad bitch on the other courtyard <laughs> looking at him like. Boom. Yeah, 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 exactly. Boom. It's the opening scene. Oh, bro. <laughs> He's a creep. I love it. He's a creep. He go back into the shower, uh, shadows, wait on her to go in the house, and then he go. I kill really her. can't believe you said that. <laughs> no, no, really said that to me, man. Yeah, man dog let's, is. Let's but I figured this, up, this character was that. He was the kid that had the ball in his hands from. So I'd like, So I was like, I got to learn this shit fast, and I got to get comfortable with the football as fast as possible. You did used to be. What you, he be flipping that Yeah. Ball? Exactly. Yeah, so all that was just, I would just walk around with it every day, every day, every day. I love I'd, I'd leave the house, I'd pick it up and I'd just be just tossing it. So it was just, it felt comfortable. You know, you see that in movies, you can tell, like smoking is a big thing. You can tell someone smoking in movies, they don't really smoke in real life. Just the way they hold it. This is true. That's very true. Very, very if you, true. Like if you a smoker, and I don't smoke cigarettes, but I, if you smoke cigarettes and you see a, a, a cigarette smoker can look at a scene and say, he don't, and be like, he don't really smoke. Just by the way, to, how to, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. And so that was in my head. I was wow. like, yeah, I got, I gotta get comfortable with this thing, right? And so, yeah, that's sick. So did <clears throat> the other guys on there that play football? They all had to get comfortable too. Well, uh, our QB played in high school, so he really played football. Oh, he really yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah. He had the build of it. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a QB and he was a, he was a really a QB and he was a receiver. So you were that's the only why. one that was brand new to this. Nothing, nothing. Everyone else had played at least a little bit. So now you don't feel like you nice a little bit, kind of. It depends who I'm playing against. (laughs) (laughs) I I could go back to the. Don't have to go to Danny Skill. Yeah, no, 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 I don't have to take my boy out there. I could go back to the UK. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he like, man, I get in that pool, man. I'm killing them. Yeah, but, I'm killing them. But out here, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's level out here. Got Dallas Cowboys stars in the middle of their bedroom yeah, out here, boy. They different. for real. Yeah, it's different. By the way, what is the, are you? What is your team now? This is the Bears. Oh, do you have a team? You with the Bears? <sighs> The, the team I've I've been to a bunch of Rams games and a bunch of uh, he uh, holding LA games, down. I so. feel it now. You a LA yeah, guy. Yeah. So, he don't even wear the Manchester hat. I feel like, yeah, I feel like where I is the Manchester? Does they have a hat that's raw? Yeah. Uh, Do y'all have like a UK raw hat that's like like how we got the socks hat? Like I feel like that's like America's hat. Uh, no, no. So. A, New York yeah, Yankee hat is. Right, Yankee I, hat. I think yeah, the Yankee yeah. hat is the the like of America. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Universal. I'm trying to be honest now. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, universal. Yeah. Socks second, I ain't gonna lie. Socks second, you feel you'll me? You'll see, you'll see socks hats in the UK, a hundred percent. Yeah, because I know how we come. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? But uh, I don't think so. I don't think there's nothing that's like synonymous with. Yeah, I don't think so. Just saying, get y'all no. something that you know. Yeah, what I'm saying you should. You know, what about the soccer team? You know? Soccer's song, huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. they don't have like caps with the. No, I mean, Saki's more about the, the jerseys. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Saki, you'll see. Oh, you know, I'm done. I don't like the t shirt jerseys. Yeah. Yeah. What is with y'all in that? The t shirt jerseys. Just, yeah, growing up, that was like Christmas present. So if you like, go into dinner, you could wear a t shirt jersey. I mean, I wouldn't, but you could, but you definitely could. <laughs> Would you say something to somebody if they did? I ain't I gonna mean, lie, I'm Mike Buswood. <laughs> long, but you, yeah. long and tall, but I need it to yeah, fit. Yeah, yeah. As long as it's yeah. fitted. Jersey's I'm big. When I, growing up as a kid, like getting a jersey with your player on the back, that was like it's like a Christmas gift. That's like you wanted it. that. Yeah, we yeah. was the same way though. Yeah. We still, that you got me a jersey for my witch's car for my birthday when we was in, what, New York? 
That that Horace Grant, boy, I was finna, boy, oh, I was damn near wanted to cry. I felt See? like a little yeah, kid exactly. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. damn, yeah. Oh, I always wanted a Horace Grant. <laughs> Ooh, I wanted it. Was, it. it was the champion. I ain't had this yeah. one. I ain't had so this one since I was a little kid. <laughs> oh, I was hyped as hell. Like, bro, man, so many memories. I'm yeah. like, damn, yeah. a Horace Grant. <laughs> yeah, it was it was raw as hell. So I know that feeling of like yeah. turning into a little kid when you get that jersey, Joe. It's the best. Yeah, man, yeah. it is. It's the best. Go oh, ahead, yeah, do your thing. You know. All right, Dan. We got one of our, uh, you know, our classic questions that we like Staples. to ask all our guests on the show. Oh, okay. What are you working on personally improving in your life right now? Like, is there any area that you're trying to improve? My uh, patience. He like the third guest, right? Oh, is it, yeah. For my patience. patience. Mm. Yeah. I don't. Um, I, I get I get frustrated if if you know I'm very ambitious and I'm very like driven and so if I got to take a different route to something which is usually the case already works mm-hmm. out exactly how you how you envision it I find it hard to surrender that and just lean into kind of you know what's What's that? What's that thing? Some people say, um, like go and let God. Yeah, that and like that. Th- those type of thing. And like you know, someone said to me, "What's meant for me won't pass me by." So I ain't tripping over mm. it. And oh, I control what you can control. Yeah. So I'd, I'd always struggled with all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Just having oh. my mind. In that You're a control freak. Hundred percent. Okay. Hundred percent. And yeah. so I'm trying to. Don't say that with too much. Don't put too much on it. It's like yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> he said it twice. They were like, oh, he a control freak. Yeah. I don't want to go on a date with him. <laughs> and so yeah, I just <laughs> he like nah. I'm standing on that. I'm a control freak. Nah, I am. I am. But I, but I'm getting better. No, I'm getting sure. better. So That's so dope. just learning like patience and to take my time and let things kind of unfold how they are supposed to unfold. It's about how you use it. Mm, you listen for one. that. <laughs> right, you, you listen, listen for, for that. that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Last Not question. <laughs> it's our cash app, cash out question. What are the best and worst parts of living in America? Wow, our producer disrespecting us. <laughs> <laughs> best and worst parts of go in. No, 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 no. Eli, let me tell you the worst part about you. Hey, let me tell you something, because y'all a mess. Nah, 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 <laughs> nah best, uh, uh, best parts, I would say, Amer- <laughs> Americans feel like, and this is, a, this is good. Oh, Americans this genu- is genuinely crazy. feel like anything's possible. <laughs> Why are you We're saying delusional? Like it's not? No, no, no. just say y'all <laughs> is crazy. Yeah. Like no, no, no. Like, you like actually they believe it. Like if you if you if you have an idea for something and you're yeah. the right person here, nine times out of ten, it's like let's do it. We'll figure it out. That's a lie. <laughs> no, that, that's been my experience. That's great for you. I, I think it's your accent and they, <laughs> they gravitate towards you, uh, my brother. You's an all American now. You know what I'm saying? You's an all American. You feel me? UK, I find we're, we're, more, uh, we're a bit more cautious. We're a bit more like reserved. Like, mm, as far know. as like mm. leaning into somebody else's dream? Yeah. That's yeah. Crazy. It's a bit more like, you sure? It's like, all right, maybe, maybe. Whereas Americans are like, let's do it. Copy. Like you say in UK, they like want the sure thing. Exactly. And it's yeah. and it's more and it's more that we're just the abundance too. We're just what careful, you, you know. We're a lot more careful. We're a lot more cautious, like reserved. And like mm, I want, let me give me all the details first before I get excited about it. Love it. Americans, y'all, yeah, I don't need really. to know nothing. I'm excited. Let's let's figure it out. You know what I mean? That's why Kobe's story, my favorite, when he said all the eggs, because he don't. That's I feel like that's what Americans. No plan B. <laughs> nah. Plan exactly. B. We'll, we'll make exactly. another plan. A. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get exactly. up and make another plan. That to me is an American thing. That's lovely. I think. There's right. definitely people like that. In you the definitely call us delusional. It, nah. <laughs> Who no, that when we queue it up, it's, that's, it's, it's delusional. You get back off board of control, like these are like, oh, right. <laughs> They are crazy. They think they can fly. They think they, they think they can just have guns. Like this, I gotta oh, get out of here. Oh bro, man. Where's my family? <laughs> oh bro, man. They think men in black is real. Like, yeah. These <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's before we let you go, anything you want to promote? Um, we about to let's, uh, we about to start filming our new season again. Oh, sh- so it. it's 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 I'm saying it early, but I'm saying it now. I think it's gonna be our best one yet. <laughs> So look out for that. You heard look it. Look out for that. You yeah. heard it. Cash. <laughs> All right, cash. You man. know what yeah. it is. You know what it is. Let yeah. the people know where to follow you and where to find you if they can stay up with you in any way. The uh the only social media I have is Instagram. So uh, there's uh, oh what's that about? 
Huh? What's that about? I just, I can, I only gave myself one. That's my rule. Cause I, I get addicted to that stuff. Mm. So I don't, so I don't even keep the app on my phone. Like I'll download it, post and then delete it again. Cause I'm just like, I, I, it's, it's just dangerous, bro. You challenging me. Hell yeah. And I, listen, I got a lady now, so I don't need to be in. Ha ha! <laughs> As always, man, thank you for rocking with us on Iman Amongst My Men, pleasure. powered by Cash App. I am Iman Shumpert. And I'm Ari Shumpert. Thanks to our guest, Daniel Ezra. Let's give it up for him. One time. Hey, fam. No, no bullshit, bro. If you need me, bro. Like, for real. Like, That's actually, this is actually not bad. Yeah, I, I yeah. mean, I watch a lot of Top Boy, Top, top Man. Boy. There you go. I want to be the Top Man. <laughs> Make sure to go rate, five stars, review, and subscribe wherever you listen to your podcast. And to watch the full video episodes, you're going to head over to Uninterrupted's YouTube channel and click subscribe. And until next time, y'all, we are gone. That's the soundtrack to the show. <laughs> <laughs> This podcast is brought to you by Cash App. And that is right. Cash App has the tools to make saving easier. Start building towards your saving goals one dollar at a time. Iman, what are some of the things that you're saving for? Well, I'm just saving for a rainy day, like I like to say. Um, yeah, I'm always saving, always trying to get my snowball bigger. Yeah, so what are some of the things you saving up for? Ah, uh, to be honest, Christmas. Shopping for a four-year-old girl and a teenage boy. The boy's easy, the girl is not. She wants everything from everywhere, tree houses, doll houses, mm -hmm. cars, big wheel, whatever. All of that gets expensive and yeah, I'm just, I'm dreading the bill. Oh yeah, yeah it sucks being Santa. Yeah. Reaching your goals, whatever they may be, is faster with Cash App's roundups and offers. You're paying yourself, even while you're paying someone else. And while your money's building in Cash App, you could literally be doing anything other than thinking about your money. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like uh, financial self-care. Mm. That's money and that's Cash App. So download Cash App today from the App Store or the Google Play Store to start saving today. Save your money. Like right now.